So moving on. Uh, so let's switch gears a bit. And we're going to go back into analytics territory a bit and talk about geometry and how we can import and store multiple geometries. So in 239, um, we introduced a new metadata attribute value type called GeoJSON. We're going to talk about GeoJSON in a minute. But this is essentially a format for geospatial data based on JSON that allows you to store things like polygons and points and line strings and all those uh, geospatial data types. So the standard metadata attribute system in DHS2 can now be used for GeoJSON and geospatial data. This allows us to support multiple geometries now per organet. So this no, we, we no longer constrain to just a single geometry for an organet. We can have multiple per organet. And this is helpful for things like catchment areas, for instance, if you would like to define a catchment area to a facility and not just a point of a facility, we can do that if you would like to have uh, both the geographical boundaries of a district as well as the administrative boundaries for district. We can also do that and display those, those in maps now. So this is quite powerful and allows for a lot of flexibility around creating and storing geospatial data and displaying maps. Um, we also built a new importer for ge ge geometry data based on GeoJSON. So uh, this is a new importer that we hope will face out the GML, the previous GML based Importer GML is a much more heavyweight format based on XML. Um, as some of you probably have tried before, setting up geometry in DHS2 is a faint of heart. It's a complicated difference. The new importer is much more lightweight, it's based on the GeoJSON format, uh, which is now pretty much tools like Mapbox and ArcGIS and QGIS and so on, and also allows for moving your spatial data between these different systems. So it's set, it makes setting up maps much easier, and it also simplifies integration with existing geo tools out there because we're now conforming to what most of these systems use. So the GeoJSON, as, as I mentioned, is basically a, a format based on JSON. It's quite lightweight, but it's also very extensible. So if you need to add more data, you can do that. Uh, this is from geojson.org. Um, so at the very basic, the GeoJSON format is based on the type. That's typically a feature. Then we have a geometry, which could be a you know, point, polygon, line string. It contains the coordinates. And then we have a flexible set of properties that can be used. So in the importer for DHS2, we then read one of the properties. We map it to the name or the code. And then we get the geometry type, the feature type, and the coordinates from the geometry object there. So should be fairly easy to use. And we're looking for feedback, of course, of the solution. Um, you will find this by going to the import export app and you click on the organic geometry import. Um, we can select a file, you can match the JSON to the correct property in the, the properties object. Um, you can also link it to different attributes of type to JSON. So if you would like to link this to, let's say, catchment area or geographical boundaries, we can now easily do that by using this drop down. Okay, 